Okay, welcome back everyone. Today we're gonna code our own read line function. So basically we will do a function that reads one line from the standard input from the keyboard but with a twist. We will use the select function and make it so that there is a timeout. So you can have like five seconds uh, in order to write your name or something like that. And then it times out and reacts to it. And that's not something that the regular scanf or fgets methods can. So we will use the select function and that basically uh, it listens for activity on a specific uh, file descriptor or several file descriptors. So if we open a file it can react when there is something to read from that file. And for the same stuff it will work with uh, reading from the keyboard. It can also read from a socket like when you connect to an internet host. You can use select in order to know when there's something uh, that can be read. Anyhow, we will use it to read from the keyboard. So let me just log into my system. Okay, we will create a file called, we will call it TRL timed read line. So I will put in the header TRL.c timed read line. And we will have a couple of includes. First of all, we will include the standard IO as usual, and also the standard library. We will need sys time age in order to make the um, the timeout part. And sys types dot age is for select. We will also need the uni standard library as long as string dot age, so we can manipulate strings. Okay, so we will begin by, by our timed read line function. And yes, and that will be a char function. So this will return this string that has been read from the keyboard. Or it will return zero if it times out. And we will have one argument which will be the timeout. Okay, so first of all we will need a buffer that we will read the data to and that will be a char string. Let's make it 512 characters and this is the variable that we will be returning. So we have to make it static Static means that this uh, data will be saved in the memory even after the, uh, the function returns. So in that way we can use it to, uh, to return a string value. We will also need a fd set. That is a specific variable type, a structure for the select uh, function. We will also need a struct timeval, which is for the timeout part of the uh, select function, and a return value for the uh, select function, just a regular int. The first thing we'll do is we will zero this RF 
ds variable and then we will use the fd set to listen for uh, the standard input zero like i have put here zero is the equivalent of standard input so we will listen for the standard input and we connect it to our rfds struct then we have to make this timeout part so we will add the timeout in seconds and we will use zero milliseconds and then we will call our select function and let it return to our ret variable and this first argument is how many file descriptors we'll be listening for and that is just one and then we will send the address of our rfds variable and we will send our time val as well <coughs> then we'll check if return has a positive true value and if so we will use the fd is set so fd is set is a function or a macro that will check if a specific file descriptor has any data to read from so we pass in the file descriptor and that is the standard input and also the rfds the fd set uh, structure and if it returns true and if there is a uh, any data to be read from our standard input file descriptor I will zero out our buffer with memset and then I will use the read function to read from standard input into a buff and I will read a maximum of 511 characters so we have one more to go just to be sure and send that to the ret variable and if it ret ret will be uh, returning the number of bytes read from the read uh, function and if we return less than one that means that it has timed out no sorry that means that it didn't succeed in reading any data so select was unable to correctly see that or it might have read a end of file from the buffer or from the keyboard rather okay and if that happens we will return zero and if we don't we will decrease the ret returned number of bytes with one and use it as an index to get to the uh, new line at the end of the string and overwrite that with a zero so we don't ha have the new line in our returned string and then we will return our buffer and if 
this if statement is uh, false so either the select didn't return a positive value or this macro didn't be true that be that means that our um, timeout happened and then we will also return zero okay that's basically it let's code a proof of concept kind of the main function let's ask the user for a name what is your name think fast and then we will call our time read line function with a timeout of three seconds and if name is true we will print out hello and the name and if not we will print out too slow and then we will exit our co program let's see if this compiles so far so good and then we run the program and I will answer my first name it, it tells back hello Jonah but what if we're not fast enough you see too slow it works perfectly all right then we will look through our code once more we can use a more command so we can see the code one screen at a time first we do a, a lot of includes and then our function we will create a buffer with the keyword static so we can return it we create the fd set that we use for select and we create a time val for the timeout and a return value we zero out the RFDS, which is our FD set struct, select struct, and then we bind standard input, which is the zero file descriptor, to our RFDS using the FD set macro. We set our argument as timeout in the time val. Time val. And we set zero milliseconds. We could improve this function so we can uh, use milliseconds as well if we want to. But for now, let's do a zero. Then we call the select, and if it returns true, and if we have any data to be read from the keyboard. Then we zero out our buff. We read from the keyboard until, into buff. And ret will contain the number of bytes read. If that is less than one, we return zero. And if it's less than one, if uh, read failed, or if it read an end of file, if it is true, then we uh, decrease the return value by one in order to use it as, a, as an index <coughs> to reach uh, the new line at the end of the string. And we zero it out. And then we return the buffer. If not, this is if the function timed out, we return zero. 
And then we have an example code that creates an, uh, a sharp pointer. We ask for the name and tell them to think fast. <clears throat> we call our timed real read line function with a three second timeout. And if it returns a string, we will print out hello and the name. And if it times out, we print out too slow. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and thanks for today.